Colors. Yeah. What a name for a track. Um, what was the meaning behind the title for this track? Okay, well, the, the one, I guess one of the, if I could term it like this, byproducts of this period has is, is, um, been the most intense period. I'm talking about the last two years, lockdowns, pandemics. Most intense period of almost self-examination and um, you know, reflection, uh, people, um, a lot of hate speech as well, uh, and a, a lot of um, a lot of very vociferous leanings towards, uh, in some camps, towards intolerance and etc. Um, but there's a lot of really, really uplifting stuff that's gone on as well in terms of communities coming together um, to voice how they feel and some some really empowering wonderful things that have happened around the world um, but in, in, in all of this I guess I, w I wanted to, to do something which um, which which spoke to, to to all of these things happening as I was reading some poetry um, uh, in response to the um, the Colston statues coming down in Bristol in in lockdown, and um, there was a, there was some poetry which I read which was so eloquent and so beautiful, um, so quiet in its delivery but just so powerful. Um, the piece is, is 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 really I guess a meditation on on that feeling that we that sort of tribal sense of of belonging but also then the the fragmentation that has occurred um the tribalism the the sort of infighting the intolerance um and really just a commentary on all of that i as there was something else i was reading in black art in america about composers, black composers, um, going back through history um, and the need that many black composers and indeed black artists have felt to conform to a particular aesthetic in order to, uh, to chime with other people's opinions of what black art should look like, uh, which is a very interesting, um, is, is, is a very interesting commentary. Um, and one which I thought was was, was interesting too, and, and indeed, you know, I work within a, a, a genre of music that many people wouldn't necessarily feel is synonymous with uh, black people or people of colour, even though that's a, um, uh, that's clearly not an opinion that I hold. Um, so it's it's a period. Of, it's it's basically a piece of music um, that speaks to, in in a sense the ridiculousness of so many and the preposterousness of so many opinions that have been heard and and voiced but also the truth of how people feel about their own reality their place in the world their right to exist their right to be heard and just how we need to give space to all of those opinions and respect each other and respect ourselves in order to see each other. Because I, I feel that it's only through seeing and hearing and respecting that um, there will be true harmony, um, which is what we all want. Uh, nobody wants to go out into the world and, well, no sound, reasonable person wants to go out in the world and, and you know, literally fight and, and People want harmony and, and peace in the main, I think. Um, but there is so much noise around that sometimes truth can be obscured. Um, so it's really a commentary on all of that. And sorry if that sounded rather garbled because it's difficult to make sense of it at times. Um, but that's what it's about. No, I mean, I think we're all trying to make sense of the world that we live in now with all of these polarizing ideas and just like the intent of colliding all the time rather mm. than collaborating. Mm. Um, 
but coming back to the track, um, you can kind of hear that dichotomy in that you've got the piano playing one line, like the acoustic piano, yeah. you've got the electric guitar mm. um, playing together. It's kind of of two opposing worlds as well, I guess, mm. in the musical sense. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, in, in, in a sense, it's, it's a kind of continuation from Exhale, as appeared on the Evolution album. Um, and we heard there uh, a sort of dialogue between piano and electric guitar. I love the, the sound of the electric guitar. Um, in the, in, and, and particularly, you know, the old, um, players like Pat Metheny and Harren Bullock, um, Mike Stern, John McLaughlin. Uh, I think it's such an expressive instrument and using it in this kind of classical soul context as well felt um, entirely appropriate to me. Uh, because it's a world that I've always loved and have explored, you know, sonically, and you know, bringing those those two two instruments together to to have a dialogue, um, and and then to to expand on that, if you like, and amplify those conversations through the use of orchestra as well, felt felt good. <laughs> 